Here's a prediction of the 2021 NBA Finals. Milwaukee's making their first finals appearance since 1974, while Phoenix is trying to bring their first title of all time to the city. The Suns vs. Bucks will feature the first career finals appearances from Chris Paul and Giannis, and two rosters around them that feature some lethal talent. Both teams are stacked 1 through 15, so this should be an amazing series. In this video, I'll attempt to pick the winner for these potentially all-time great finals and show you every reason for why this series is so damn intriguing. Before I continue, over three quarters of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed, so if you fall into that percentage, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100k by the end of this year. Also, leave a like on this video. It takes a few seconds and makes a huge difference. First and foremost, a big congratulations to Tory Craig for winning his first championship because no matter who wins the finals, Craig's going to get a ring for playing on both the Suns and the Bucks this season. As Ray Lewis said, defense wins championships, and the Bucks versus Suns features the teams with the two best defensive ratings in the 2021 playoffs. In offensive ratings, the teams rank down at number 10 and 11. In head-to-head -head matchups during the regular season, the Suns took both games, but only by a combined two points. Chris Paul averaged 25, 10, and 5 on over 50% shooting from three-point range in those games, while against the Suns, Giannis averaged 40 and 10 on 60% shooting from the field. Only one player in these finals has experience in the championship round, and that's Jay Crowder with six games, who played last year with the Heat. That's the third lowest amount of combined experience entering an NBA Finals game of all time. And the last thing you need to know before getting into the advantages for both teams and my prediction is that both teams have had a somewhat convenient path into the Finals. Even though Chris Paul and Giannis have been injured for a stretch of games, the Bucks had the luxury of Kyrie Irving and James Harden getting injured in the Nets series, and the Suns have had the luxury of going through three teams that were extremely injured. But here's the thing, that's happened to every championship team in league history. You play who's in front of you, and staying healthy is a win in itself. This finals is going to be legendary, I don't care what anyone says. So let's get into the advantages for both teams and predict which players will get their first ring. With Giannis being out for the Bucks since the middle of Game 5 in the East Finals, Brooke Lopez has stepped into a primary scoring and defending role for Milwaukee, proving why he's a former All-Star as well as the all-time leading scorer for the Brooklyn Nets. Brooks' beastly Game 6 saw him drop 33 points on 14 of 18 from the field, and he also swatted four shots on the other end. Additionally, the pick-and-roll defense Lopez has displayed has been exceptional in these playoffs. He's made adjustments throughout each round, and his lateral quickness and awareness has adjusted to offensive game plans from night to night perfectly. Here's what Drew Holiday had to say about Brooke Lopez after that performance. I feel like people forget, like, Brooke is a, is a leading scorer in somebody else's franchise, so he's definitely a bucket, but the way that he controls himself, um, I think the way that he carries himself as a professional is is uh, something that I admire, but yeah, Brooke can do this anytime he wants to. The fan favorite Bobby Portis also dropped a playoff career high, 22 points on 9 for 20 shooting in Game 5. Portis has done an excellent job replacing Giannis in the starting lineup. Bobby's board getting, hustle, plus his polished inside and out scoring make him a damn dangerous role player. Cash Money Middleton's been saucing up defenders on the perimeter and hitting shots in anyone's grill. During Game 6 on the road, where the Bucks clinched the East Championship, Middleton poured home 23 points in the third quarter. Of course, his ability to stay balanced and drop in deep-range bombs with a fundamentally sound release is impressive, but what I'm most impressed with in Middleton is how ambidextrous this man is. Given the floaters he's making, you would think he's a lefty. When a player's making shots like he is with his left, that means they're putting in endless reps, so respect to Chris. Maybe Chris Paul has more likability, Devin Booker has more flash, and Giannis has more overall value, but Middleton may be the best scorer in this series. Before getting to the Suns' perspective and then making my prediction, we can't forget the man making everything click in Drew Holiday. Drew's been given respect in multiple buck videos that I've made this year, but the value of his pick and roll ball handling could be raved about for days. Not only is he the best guard defender in basketball, but Holiday's crafty handles 
and finishes have taken Mike Budenholzer's space and pace system to the next level. He can dice up defenders and get his teammates easy buckets, and his off-the-dribble pull-ups make things so much easier on every buck player than it was in past years. Eric Bledsoe's rightfully been the scapegoat, but realistically Drew's just so much better than him that it's given Bledsoe some unnecessary hate. It's time we stop calling him the most underrated point guard in basketball and instead start calling Drew Holiday a top five point guard in the NBA. Role players like Pat Connaughton and Bryn Forbes, who are clutch three-point shooters, along with the lockdown 3 and D hustle player in PJ Tucker, make this Bucks team dangerous as well. Tucker's scrappy effort on the glass has made the Bucks the number one ranked team remaining in the playoffs in offensive rebounding chances. After getting roasted by Trey Young in Game 1 of the East Finals, the Bucks' playoff best defense made quicker rotations and figured out Trey's tendencies. When he dropped 48 in Game 1, Young looked impossible to defend, but Milwaukee held him to just 14 points on 4 for 7 shooting in Game 6. The Bucks are the bigger and more physically imposing squad, but the concern for fans in the Deer District is going to be whether Giannis will be healthy and more importantly, stay on the floor. If Giannis won this ring, he'd split Michael Jordan and LeBron James, who won titles in their 7th and 9th seasons, as Adetokounmpo's first ring would come in his 8th season. We know how the abundance of fans like Skip Bayless value losses in the finals, so this series will have some serious implications for Giannis's legacy whether we like it or not. But what the two-time MVP has already done in this playoff run has been special. Everyone hates on Giannis because of his free throws and three-point shot, but in the seven-game series against the Nets, this man averaged 32-13 and 13 on 58% shooting from the field. He's one of, if not the best leader in the NBA, and the greatest slasher of this generation by a mile, so the Bucks can't win this series without him in my opinion. More on his health status later on. The Phoenix Suns have the point god CP3, who's on a mission for his first ring, with a young phenom on the rise next to him in D-Book. The Suns are fueled by one of the best duos the NBA has to offer. They became the first team in NBA history to reach an NBA Finals after a 10-year playoff drought. The CP3 edition has proved to be a blessing for the Phoenix organization, as it's given Devin Booker every bit of needed ammunition to take his game to the next level. Booker was already one of the most promising young stars in the NBA, but the Suns were usually at the bottom of the standings. The Suns had a promising young team with the likes of DeAndre Ayton, Mikael Bridges, and Cameron Johnson surrounding their young star. Nevertheless, they were desperately lacking a leader in the locker room. The hiring of Monty Williams was preceded by the blockbuster deal of a trade for Chris Paul which sparked the start of a new era for the Phoenix Suns. The acquisition of CP3 saw Booker elevate his game to a whole new level. Booker was earlier quoted saying the following about Paul's effect on the Suns team. People have to understand his effect isn't just his points and his assists. It's keeping people in line, leading every day. That alone should have him in the MVP conversation every year. Meanwhile, during the conference championship ceremony, Chris Paul had nothing but admiration for the 24-year-old Booker saying, quote, he's like an old man. He's the oldest 24-year-old I've ever met in my life. The biggest thing, he knows the game. He watches every game, every night, just like me. Certainly a lot of fans would love to see Booker and Paul finish the job for the city of Phoenix. These sons are built for the modern game with their dynamic backcourt pairing, but one player makes this team revolutionary. DeAndre Ayton's paint presence is signifying the return of the dominance at the center spot in the NBA. Without Ayton's rebounding and inside scoring, the Suns wouldn't be in the finals. While the Bucks have the best rebounding team, Phoenix has the best individual rebounder in this series. Ayton had 22 boards in Game 4 of the West Finals and put up 18 and 14 per game in that series. Ayton's also the best post-up scorer in this series, plus he's a force defensively. However, his matchup is going to be Brook Lopez, who leads all centers in the playoffs in blocks and steals, and every season he leads the league in shots contested. Jay Crowder's second straight finals appearance was earned, as last year he locked down Giannis in the second round against the Miami Heat, 
That's something Buck fans are probably worried about in this series, especially considering the health status of Adetokounmpo. Mikael Bridges and the NBA champ Tory Craig will also be valuable defenders. So here's who I think wins this series. This is incredibly tough given Giannis's injury, but if I got it spot on in the 2019 finals a few years ago where I predicted Toronto would win in six against the banged up Warriors, I can do it for this series. However, I'm not the genie in the bottle like this fan who predicted this would all go down five years ago in 2016, but I think Chris Paul's ability to slice through any type of pick and roll coverage with his mid-range could be the deciding factor in this series. He and Devin Booker's perimeter shot making will be crucial if the Suns want to take four games from the East champs. Then again, not only can Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday match the production of D-Book and CP3 offensively, but they're two of the top guard defenders in basketball. Holiday's known for his defense, but Middleton doesn't get enough credit on that end. So I think the backcourts will match each other in terms of clutch scoring and overall production, and this will come down to whose role players are more efficient. It's also going to come down to whether or not Giannis is on the floor, and I'm predicting he'll make it back for the finals. Mike Budenholzer is saying it's a day-to-day -day thing, and if Embiid can play through a meniscus tear, Giannis can play with a hyperextension. He's just got to be a tad extra cautious with his block attempts, but he looks to be moving around well on the sidelines, so I think he's back. The Suns' offensive system is so damn good, and the Bucks are so damn talented. This is going seven games where I see the toughness, experience, and firepower of the Milwaukee Bucks edging out the Suns in a close game and once-in-a-lifetime series. Phoenix could easily get the job done too, and I want more than anything for Chris Paul to win a ring. It would be an incredible storyline. CP3's desperate for a ring too, and this could be his last chance. I just think the Bucks' collective drive to get it done slightly oversees that of the Suns. But as I said, this could go either way, so leave your take on who will win the finals down below. And the top comment I'm hooking up with a shout out in my next upload and a jersey of their choosing. That's right, a one time Community Speaks giveaway. I should be doing these every month. I'll try to do that. But do you have the Suns or Bucks in the finals? Let me know down below. Have a great one, y'all. This was D Flow, and I'll see you next video.